Assalamu alaikum. Um, today I'll be talking about the human body. And if we look at ourselves, our body, it's amazing in a way that we have a lot of different organs doing different, totally different things from each other. For example, lungs are for breathing and stomachs for digesting food, brains for thinking, eyes for seeing. And all of these organs are made of from tiny, tiny little cells. And in each cell, it also has these like organ-like structures. We call them as organelles. And one of these organelles is the nucleus. And the nucleus is like a brain for the cell. And this is where the DNA, which is what Allah has um, created the code that actually makes us us as us inside this nucleus now if there's anything wrong in this tiny cell that either it's the in the organelles which are the organs of the cells or the DNA then our whole body will become sick and um, they can't process uh, the things that they need to process correctly so there are a couple of cases where even the mitochondria which is the energy producing structure in the cell is um, sort of it's defective it does it can't do the job that it's supposed to do the whole body will become sick out of it so subhanallah, Allah had created all this system to work perfectly, to have their job perfectly well coordinated so then our body can function perfectly. And talking about DNA, if the DNA in our body is mutated, mean that there's one little change in the DNA, then it will change the way cells um, divide for example that's what happened with cancer so cancer is actually when the cell has a mutation a change in the DNA that actually makes them can't stop dividing so they will divide non-stop and that's why you have those tumor growing it means that the cells just can't stop dividing and people are known to die from this cancer tissue growing and growing because of these tiny cells that has very fine details of DNA code that slightly change and mashallah I have friends uh, doing cancer research and I've also learned about it when I was uh, in university and the thing about cancer is that each cancer is slightly different from each other for example the um, leukemia, which is white blood cell cancer, um, is different from ovarian cancer or breast cancer or brain cancer. And the cause of it for different people is a little bit different too. And even though we know, the scientists know that cancer are made from the cells that are defective and um, can't stop dividing, we just don't know what exactly trigger that cell to mutate and who knows what exactly is happening only Allah knows and that's why only Allah can remove the pain or can give, can give you pain but Allah is the one that actually knows what's exactly happening to your body and when we look at the, our body there are a lot of things that are not under our control for example your heart even though it's your heart in your own body, can you control how fast it's beating? Or can you stop it for a second and then let it beat again? I can't and I don't think you can too. But who controls that? Allah does. And that's why after, um, uh, after prayers, one of the du'a that you can make is uh, do, do uh, for uh, for Allah to grant you a healthy body so then you can function properly 
so that you can make um, ibadah, uh, good deeds, properly too. تبارك اسم ربك ذي الجلال والإكرام. Blessed is the name of your Lord, owner of majesty and honor. Another amazing creation of Allah is how we once develop in our mummy's tummy. Um, the scientific term of babies in the womb is fetus. So the baby development or fetus development in the womb of your mother's um, tummy, it's already been described to us in the Quran 1400 years ago. Allah had mentioned the exact uh, process of how the fetus came to be, how a clot of blood is becoming um, bones, bones covered with um, flesh everything has been explained in the Quran and you know what the fetus development is something fairly new in um, the medical field because it's only being um, discovered the whole process about 30 or 40 years ago but subhanallah Allah had already mentioned every single step in the Quran and isn't that amazing it shows to you that Allah knows you best. Allah knows exactly how you're being created. Allah knows exactly what is right for you. And that's why we need to really ponder and look um, to what Allah had already uh, ordained us to do, order us to do. Maybe we don't really understand it fully, but in the end, Allah knows best.